If you want to level up, not only should you immerse yourself in English language content, but you should also be mindful of the quality of this content that you're consuming. We are absolutely inundated with content and information these days, especially with social media. It's on you to be selective about the type of content you consume. What's best is to curate content and tailor it to your needs and interests and ultimately your goals, personal goals and professional goals. At the end of the day, we are only as good as the type of content we digest. So definitely be mindful, be selective, and choose with intention and mindfulness. This is why we need to choose mindfully and with intention in terms of what we ingest. So that being said, I'm going to share some points to have you think about as you select the type of content that will help you be your best self and immerse yourself in. All right, let's go for it. The first thing that I'd like you to ask yourself is what is your goal? Knowing your why is very important. This will help you choose content that helps you achieve your goals. Having goals in mind will allow you to be selective about what you want to spend your time on. If your goal is to learn how to use specific software, you can find tutorials on how to do that. If your goal is to improve your English communication skills, our content at Advanced English and Exploring will help you fulfill those needs and help you achieve your goals there. If your goal is to improve your math skills, you can work on some problem solving and equations. Or let's say you want to learn how to play the piano. There are free resources all online to help you do that too. Just about everything you want to know is available right at your fingertips and ready for you to start learning. So make sure you set those goals and then pursue the content that will help you obtain those goals without getting distracted by the noise. Let's just say the less quality content. Two, be always growing. So be always on the lookout for opportunities to grow and to learn and to develop. When you're a lifelong learner, your mind will stay sharp. You'll be able to communicate with people across generations and across cultures. And you'll also be able to keep yourself curious and involved and interested. Not only is this helpful to stave off aging and cognitive decline, it's also a wonderful way to stave off boredom. Learn new skills, acquire new strategies, and feel free to choose English as the medium for instruction when you do that for an extra language boost. Three, the realization that time is finite. As humans, we know that our time on earth is finite, meaning since we don't have infinite time, we realize that our time is the most precious resource that we have. So we need to be very mindful of how we expend it. Do you ever find yourself scrolling through social media and end up spending hours and hours just to find out that you've been scrolling your apps but not really learning anything important? And when you look at the clock, you cannot believe how much time you've spent. You say, oh my goodness, did that really happen? What a time warp. So that's what I'm getting at here, right? It really reiterates the importance of setting your goals wisely. Look, if you want to scroll, then do that. But just set a timer on your phone and schedule it into your calendar. That way it's intentional scrolling, not mindless doom scrolling, meaning it's not that you were supposed to be doing something else and instead got distracted by all the fancy applications on your phone and all the scrolling that seems like you're being productive but is not really, right? So if you set a timer and also distinguish a time on your calendar for when you'll be scrolling on social media or in your apps, then that is a little bit different because at least you've time blocked it, right? And so you're not just aimlessly doing something that, again, is really supposed to be time that you're spending on some other task, right? And doing it this way, really setting parameters around your scrolling time will help you honor the fact that time is finite. Once we spend that time, we cannot get it back. And unlike money, which we can make more of, 
we cannot make more time, unfortunately, right? We can't rewind the clock. So knowing this, right, gives us some perspective and it might even enable you to make smarter choices about how much and what type of content you consume. So be selective about only consuming or doing as best you can a job of consuming high quality content because that's really going to enhance your life and it'll also be a way for you to appreciate how you want to spend your time and ultimately have you spend it more wisely. That is the hope. Immersing yourself in content that not only gets you closer to your goals to help you realize your dreams and maybe get that promotion or go after that job opportunity or seek out a really cool experience in English, let's say, it will also allow you to focus on the language that you're working on. And in this case, it's probably English, right? And to make it a goal of learning these skills through the lens of the English language medium. Say, for example, your goal is to improve your English, right? So for example, if you're interested in, let's say, space travel, and there's a book about it in English, why not read it in English, right? So finding these opportunities that allow you to achieve two things. You're learning a new skill or you're learning about an interesting subject area, but you're also using English to do that, right? So you get the skill and you also get the language focus. Or let's say you want to learn about the Amazon rainforest. Why not watch a documentary about it in English with English subtitles? Do you see what I'm getting at here? Not only do you want to be carefully curating the type of content you consume, but also you want to be smart about the way you're consuming it because ultimately it will save you time in the long run. And experiment with different media as well. For example, film, documentary, audio, written form, like books, journal articles, educational blogs, educational YouTube and podcasts. Whenever you can, find these opportunities. In fact, create these opportunities for learning that will set you up for success in the near and far future. All right, advanced English learners, thank you so much for joining me for this lesson. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you're watching here on YouTube. And if you're listening to our podcast, then feel free to leave us up to five stars. That really helps us out. And drop a comment or question in the Q&A. You can find that in the community tab if you are listening on Spotify. So feel free to do that. And also feel free to share the podcast with people you think would enjoy improving their English language and communication skills. And speaking of communication skills, you can always check out our communication channel and podcast and website, explearning.co. That's E-X-P learning.co. And you'll find hundreds of lessons there on public speaking, interview skills, how to present effectively in English, how to communicate, how to get rid of social anxiety when you're speaking in English, and how to communicate more effectively in general. All right, so be sure to sign up for the newsletter as well at exploring.co. And if you haven't done so already, also sign up for our advancedenglish.co newsletter. All right, I will see you in the next one. We're gonna continue advancing your English together. Until then, keep up the awesome work, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye for now.